So I'm here with Professor Guatam Desira Drew. We are celebrating the year of crystallography in our school. Thank you for, for being here with us. And the fir first question for you is, how important to you is the legacy of Bugs von Laue? The legacy is extremely important. And uh, it's important for crystallography and uh, also for science in general, important scientific discoveries come in two types. One where the discovery builds up logically from things that were done previously. And then the second category in which I would put Max von Laue's discovery is something that is absolutely new. So we had x-rays that had been discovered by Röntgen about 15 years prior to this. But it was Laue's idea that a crystal could be imaged with x-rays. So the use of x-ray diffraction, which is his, his discovery, quickly led to the imaging, internal imaging of crystals. And therefore, you could see atoms, molecules, and so on. And once you can see atoms and molecules, wherever atoms and molecules are important, for example, physics, chemistry, biology, you can use x-rays. And this is the main reason why the legacy is so important, because it leads to many, many subjects of many, many types. So the legacy is one which is of a very high order. Thank you very much. You brought the subject of very, very important things uh, for us today. And the second question is that is the world interested in the year of crystallography's celebration as actually Poland is? I would say yes, indeed. This uh, international year has sparked off a great deal of interest in all different types of countries. For example, there is a lot of interest in a country like the USA, where so much crystallography has taken place. But would you believe it or not, last month there was a function in the small island republic of Fiji in the South Pacific, where they celebrated the International Year of Crystallography. So all the way from the USA to Fiji you have celebrations commemorating the international year. This means that people are interested in science and they want to somehow take part just like you people are doing this in your school here. So, and then there's so many countries between the USA and Fiji so that includes the rest of the world I suppose. Yep, so judging from your words, the year of crystallography is very, very important for science this year and we are very proud of this. And the last question for you is, what is the greatest challenge for crystallography now? How do you think? The greatest challenge for crystallography is not scientific because there are good scientists everywhere and uh, they will continue to do good work and the work will be of a very high quality. I think there are two main challenges, if you ask me. And this is something which is not specific to crystallography, but really about science in general. The first thing is that scientists have to make the general public aware of the importance of science. Science is not just something which you do uh, in an abstract or some professor sitting in some ivory tower and, and scribbling some equations or something of the kind. but science is something that will benefit the common man and this is something that I don't think we scientists are doing a very good job in convincing the general public. Now this is the, the lesser problem. I think the bigger problem is that scientists should be able to convince bureaucrats and politicians that they have to fund science. Science today cannot be done without money. Yes, you can do a bit with infrastructure, you can do a bit with willpower, you can do a bit with hardworking people. But in the end, you need money. You need lots of money to do good science. And it is only the politicians and bureaucrats who give money, unfortunately. We scientists do not know how to generate money ourselves. So we have to be able to convince these people 
that science is worth supporting. I think these are the two big challenges. Crystallography as such is, yes, it's one of the scientific subjects, so we have the same problems. But if you ask me, these are the two big issues. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very pleasure to have an opportunity to talk with you, Mr. Professor. So thank you very much.